Shut it down, good lord. Bow, bow, chicka bow, bow. Hello everyone, my name is Ria and you're watching my channel where we strive to be perfectly imperfect. So today we're going to talk about this challenge that I did recently where I meditated for 30 days, uh, 15 minutes a day. And I basically completed a course called Focus on an app called Headspace, which is a 30 day course with three parts, each made up of 10 days. I did not meditate 30 days in a row. It took me about 45 days to get the 30 days ticked off because I kept skipping days and I kept forgetting. And yeah, but I, I completed 30 days in the end. So where does that leave me? <laughs> uh, it was hard. And this is a bit of a sample of how it actually went. I feel very caffeinated because I drink a lot of mate. It's time to meditate. It's time to meditate. It's time to get in the zone. It's time to get focused now. It's time to get it. Get it right. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs>
9.33. I almost went to sleep and forgot, but I remembered. <coughs> For 15 minutes a day, we're done meditating. For 15 minutes a day, 15, 15, 15 minutes a day. <laughs> okay, you can go. All right, 30 days over. Do I feel any different? Yes, yes, I do. I definitely feel calmer. My mood swings are not as bad and I overall just feel more balanced and content but the thing is it's hard to tell how much of that is actually due to meditation because I also changed my medication up a little bit. Do I want to continue this? I think so. I'm definitely not gonna meditate for 15 minutes a day every day because having seen how it went even for a month, it was really hard. It's just hard to find 15 minutes to sit uninterrupted, even when you live alone. Early in the morning, I'm too sleepy, so if I do it, I'll fall asleep. Late at night, I'm also too sleepy, and if I do it, I'll fall asleep. I think there's a video of this. You've probably seen it in the montage just now. I once fell asleep in the middle of the day while doing a meditation, and I actually slept for two hours. So... <laughs> that didn't work out too well. I was a disaster. I'm a sleepy person, okay? So when I relax and sit down and focus on my breathing, I want to pass out. And very often I do. What am I actually going to do? I think what I'm going to aim to do is I'm going to try to meditate pretty much every day. But I'm going to try to meditate however long I can. Like on a good day it will be 15 minutes, but most days it will probably be a 1-3 to three minute meditation very often before sleep because it actually helps put me to sleep and Headspace actually has a set of meditations aimed to put you to sleep, so you know, perfect. So I'm going to do that and there was something big that I discovered. I discovered that it's very hard to meditate when you're not home alone. And I dealt with this a little bit in college, but I also had a bedroom to myself, so I would just retreat into the bedroom and wear headphones so that nobody would hear the headspace narration. So it wasn't too bad, but here, at one point while I was meditating, a friend was staying with me for a week. And I have a one-bedroom apartment, so they were staying on the sofa bed in the living room. I usually meditate in the living room. And so, you know, initially when they said they were coming, I thought, okay, every time I want to meditate, I'm just going to go into the bedroom and set up the camera there. But I didn't do that. I didn't do that because it felt weird to interrupt time spent with this friend to be like, okay, Goodbye, I'm gonna go meditate for 15 minutes. I'll see you later. Like it just felt really weird And even when we were working on our own things like we never really like left to the other room except to go to the bathroom So it would have been an awkward interruption and it would have made me feel really self-conscious So I'd never did it and I couldn't really meditate in front of my friend here in the living room I realized that this is like actually a big problem. How do you meditate in front of other people? And the experiment is going to continue because tonight I'm actually leaving to spend time with my family who are here in the UAE visiting me. They're going to be here for almost a month and I'm going to be sharing a room with my brother the entire time. So I'm not going to have a bedroom to myself anymore. So I need to figure out a way to meditate around them. How do I do that without them freaking out or something? Because, you know, it doesn't seem natural when somebody just sits here and goes... It seems like they're trying not to cry or something. It seems like they're trying to calm down from something. And I remember back whenever I would stay with my family in Ukraine for the summer, 
I would just sit without boring anyone. I would sit at my table, close my eyes, and meditate with headphones in. And every time my brother, without fail, would come in and be like, Ria, are you okay? Is everything all right? What are you doing? You look weird. Um, this is gonna be a real challenge. Like, how do you actually meditate and get in quality meditation time when you can't really be alone? You're not gonna go to the bathroom for 15 minutes and meditate there. I mean, I guess you could, but that's weird. Maybe you can take a bath or meditate in the shower. If this is interesting at all, I think I'm gonna make another video on this based on tips and tricks on how to meditate when you're not alone. How do you do it? I know some people meditate in public transport, but like, how do you do that without closing your eyes? And if you close your eyes, you just look weird. Gotta figure this out. This is, this is the mystery of all time. I'm just learning. Hi, kitty. A bit of a chatty video, this one. I hope you like it. Let me know if you don't. <laughs> or let me know if you do. Thank you for watching. Please press like. Subscribe if you want to hear more about how to meditate when you're not alone. Press like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!